In this video, I'll introduce how to get started specifying graphs in iGraph. There are many different ways to specify a graph. I'll take you through a few of the built-in functions for doing so here. Let's start, as always, making sure that we have the iGraph library loaded. Okay. For small graphs, the function makeGraph is a simple, straightforward way to directly specify a graph. With makeGraph, we need to specify at the very least a vector of couples that define the edges of the graph. So for instance, we could do g gets make graph, and then the vector, say 1 to 2, 2 to 3. I like to put a space in between them because it makes it easier to read for a person um, and find mistakes later on, change things later on. Okay, we can plot that. And we see a couple things. One, we see the hideous default color, this orange, that I'm not a fan of. More on that later. Uh, but secondly, we see that we have a directed edge, so there's an arrow on it, from 1 to 2 and 1 from 2 to 3. Those correspond to the elements of our vector, 1, 2, 2, 3. Now, I think it's good practice when using makeGraph uh, to specify a couple other arguments as well. The first of those is the um, the first of those is the number of nodes or the order of the graph, right? So going up here to the script file that I have here, uh, I have g gets make graph with the vector, and then I say n equals five. That means that there are n total vertices in the graph. And then also we want to specify whether or not we want it to be directed. Now note that in the first case here, when I didn't specify anything, we got a directed graph. That's because the default is for a directed graph. In this case, I want uh, an undirected graph. So I say dir equals false, and this is the R convention, that if a string uniquely identifies a command, an argument, uh, you don't have to spell it out entirely. So, this, so dir is short for directed, so directed equals false, okay? And we can enter that. We can look and see what we got here. We've got a graph with five vertices and six edges. These are the edges of the graph, okay? And we can plot G here. As I said, I'm not a big fan of the default color in iGraph, so I typically specify it manually. The old iGraph default was sky blue 2, which I've used here. I like that, uh, so I'm going to use it. And for this video, I'm going to add ver a vertex color argument to all the plots. In another video, coming down the road, I'll show you how to, how to set the color as a vertex attribute. I worry that doing that here would open up a can of worms that would distract us from getting through all the various built-in graphs. Okay, so there's our little nice house of a graph. Um, and uh, I'm not going to say much else on that. Let's move on to the next method for doing this.